Dave D1963. It's 11 days to our opener here, so I'm kind of getting all my gear prepared for the 2020 season, the COVID-19 deer season. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to go over my final build on my truck. Uh, there's one other thing I'm going to do this. Uh, if you haven't watched my friend Greg from Tethered, his camper shell build, you need to go over to his channel. I'll put the link down in the description, but uh, man, he, he came up with so many of the ideas that kind of got me on this. Uh, I think we both started building our camper shells about the same time, but he's had some really great ideas and kind of changed the course of where I'm going to go with this camper build. But uh, in his latest video, what he did is he actually drilled through his camper shell and put a marine plug in there. So if you go to an RV or a place where there's electricity, like an RV park, you can plug it in and have direct uh, electrical power to your camper shell. So I'm going to be doing that. Don't know if I'll get to it before deer season. Probably not. But it's definitely on my list of things to do. Uh, in the meantime, I'll just carry an extension cord for those kind of situations. But without further ado, let me kind of just go through everything. Uh, once again, I, I chose the ARE camper shell top in... Uh, you can refer to some of my previous videos. I got the big liner rug. Now, I kind of wish I would have got the sides, but I didn't go that route. But uh, I think that's probably a better way to go is to get the full bed liner. But I've got a Jackery 500, and I've got a lithium Dakota lithium Dakota, a Dakota lithium battery that will go up there, and that will supply more than enough power for me for a week hunt. Uh, the main reason I got the Jackery is because I use a CPAP, so I'll, I'll use my CPAP off of that. And I'll charge my phone and my cameras from that. Uh, and I do have an automobile charger, so I can charge this as I'm driving down the road. But uh, also hooked up to that Jackery, I've got a red light camper uh, shell top system to where I can turn it on in the middle of the night and not lose my night vision. So that's one of the things that I did with that. But, uh, I got a little fleece throw. I picked up this Millard uh, trifold mattress off of Amazon, and I'll put the link for all this stuff in the description. But this is a phenomenal cot size mattress that I've been using. Coupled with the sheet and the fleece uh, blanket, it's going to more than meet my needs down here in Texas and Oklahoma. And then if I get up to the some of the colder hunts, I'll, I'll of course take a sleeping bag. But uh, I built all these window sh shades and stuff, but all this is in my previous video. So I kind of want to go through my storage system and what I've put in this truck. These are just, uh, this is for the front window. It's a reflective thing to keep either heat in or keep the heat out in the summertime here. And this will go on the back side here. Now, one of the things that I added to mine is I, I got a blackout tarp that drops down so that I can completely close this off where no one can look in and out of my vehicle. That That's important to me if I'm sleeping on the side of the road and route to destination or, you know, even in camping spots, you just never know who you're going to encounter out there. So I chose to do that. Uh, I did go with Greg's idea of the two walking stick legs to support my tray. But hang on, let me get this pulled out and we'll go through each one of these different clothes. Okay, so in this first cart, I kept it near the front because this is all my kitchen supplies. And I've got, you know, pot pans, paper plates and bowls, napkins. I've got a whisk broom to keep everything brushed out. Got a couple of these little starters. And I've got a, a two burner Coleman stove and a couple bottles of protein, a bunch of plastic bags, a little hand towel. And then, of course, lots and lots of wet wipes. So, toothpicks, silverware, all that kind of stuff sitting in this first container. But I keep this near the end of my tailgate because, obviously, when I pull this out, I'll probably do it right here. This is probably where I'll do most of my cooking, right here. So, that's tub number one. So I've got all these labeled, so I can read them either from that side, and I'll label them on that side so I can pull them out from under the bed. But this box here, I don't really have full yet, but this is just a bunch of miscellaneous hunting supplies. I've got arrow repair kits, bow, you know, tools to work on my bow. I got silent 
stealth strips and stuff like that, electrical tape, knocks, um, all those kind of things in here. This is just like a little archery in the field repair kit. I'll have all kinds of these super warmers and stuff for when it does get warmer here. Extra little hat lights and stuff. I've got uh, another set of, I, I keep a pack of these in my uh, backpack, but these are just trail markers for when I play trail. I probably need to get more of these because I really expect to be doing a lot of blood trailing this year. Extra gun calls, extra pruners. Uh, here's a whole nother field uh, dressing kit. I, I have a video that shows this lightweight kit, but I've got three of these. I've got one in my ground hunting kit, and I've got one in my regular backpack, and then I keep an extra one in here. And then I keep a lot of extra batteries and stuff in here for my trail cameras and stuff I'm hunting. Now, I'll put a lot more stuff in here, but I just haven't filled this up yet. But this will be my kind of my extra hunting supply box. This one right here is my main camping box. So, in this one here, I've got a first aid kit. I've got Tylenol, I've got Benadryl, toothpaste, floss, Afrin, Halls, all, all those kind of goodies that you need as far as, uh, you know, your general hygiene. Of course, you don't know what this is used for, then <laughs> probably shouldn't be going out in the woods alone. I, I keep another extra little hand towel here. Another pack of white wipes. I keep a fan for at night. Uh, this right here, if you're over 50, you know what this is for. If you don't, <laughs> you're, you're probably still a young guy, but as you get older, this becomes more important. Keeps you from having to open up and get out in the middle of the night, okay? And then I've got some body wash stuff in case I, I do have a portable shower that I'll throw in here just in case I want to take a shower out there. Uh, you know, it depends on where I'm going, how long I'm going out there and all that. But that's that box. I have to pull this out a little further from my final box. Now, in my system, you can only access this way inside the camper, my sleeping CPAP box and my hunting supplies. Because really, that's the only two boxes I'm gonna need inside my camp. My cooking supplies will be accessed from the back. And this one here is just general stuff that I keep in my truck at all times. I've got tarp, I've got straps, I've got emergency flares, I've got a big uh, toolbox, I keep duct tape in here. So this is just all those kind of emergency things that could happen on the road. Uh, if I'm taking my bike, I'll put a tire repair kit and stuff like that in there. Uh, you know, just general stuff uh, to keep my truck going and stuff in case I'm having problems. Duct tape, bailing wire, uh, some zip ties, you know, those kind of things I also include in here because you just never know when something's going to break and you got to make those kind of repairs. That's really it. That's what I'm going to carry in my camper top. I also picked up this three-step ladder that goes right up to my tailgate. I love that thing. Uh, yeah, I'm getting old. It, it gets harder and harder. But uh, And I'm just I'm excited. I'm raring to go. I've got everything kind of ready. I'm going to hit it hard and heavy in October, mainly hunting weekends and after work. But then uh, in November, I actually took the entire month of November off. So I've got some hunts planned in Texas, Oklahoma. A couple other states are, are kind of pending right now. So we'll see how it goes. Anyway, Dave T1963, out.